Miss Tefe, what are you insinuating for? Look, is that what you came to my office to say to me? I don't think you understand the gravity of what is at stake. If you get declined by those Indian men, that will be the end of this company. Sir, it's not my fault. How am I supposed to be blamed for something I didn't do? I followed your instructions to the letter and did exactly what you asked me to do. Hmm. And what is that supposed to mean? Are you trying to blame me? Sir, I'm not blaming anybody. What I'm saying is that whatever happened to the deal is nobody's fault. We did our best as a group, as a company. Oh, please cut the crab. We both know you are the one that is to be blamed for this. How? You didn't show up when they requested for an official meeting. And I'm sure that is why we've been waitlisted. Sir, I called you. I explained to you that I wasn't feeling too well. I was very sick. I couldn't attend. You had time to replace me, get somebody else. And I thought you understood. Mr. Efri, I don't care anymore. This has gotten out of hand. I mean, we had just this one chance and you ended up blowing it. Sir, I did my best. I, I did everything I could. <laughs> and your best wasn't good enough. Of course. Now listen, <clears throat> just pray the investors come back and agree to run the business or else you will lose your job. Sir, this is, this is not fair. I think we're done for now, Mr. Ify. You can leave. Hello, Janet. How are you? I'm doing all right, sir. Well done. Uh, I hope your husband and your daughter are doing fine. He's doing all right, sir. Thank you. You haven't been dropping by at the office after church service. Is everything okay? I'm really sorry about that, sir. I've just been busy with work lately. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Oh, by the way, your husband has not been regular at church service. I hope things are going on well with him. Oh, yes. He has this project he's doing at work currently. And it's been keeping him busy lately. But I'll let him know you asked of him and make sure he comes visit you soon. Oh, do that. Do that. And don't forget to always call me for anything. Okay? No problem, sir. Thank you. Don't hesitate to call. Do call all the time. Yes, sir. Okay, Janet. Bye-bye now. I don't see how this is my fault. Sir. Whose fault is it? The project was in your name. I never approved the money that was sent to that company. You did. Mm. <laughs> I see. I see, Mr. Effie. Mm? As it is now, the company is going down. And you are likely to lose your job. How is that possible, sir? Mm. How is it possible? You should be thankful we are not suing you. Because the investors are threatening to sue the company. You know, whatever is not possible doesn't concern me. Please leave my office. Sir, no, I, I will not take the blame for this one. I won't take the blame. It's not my fault. You approved it. You did it. Why am I supposed to take the blame for it? So it's my word against yours. You see, if I were you, I would be thinking of how to get an investor to salvage the situation. Good day, Mr. Effie. This man is not serious at all. He's not serious. 
don't understand. Apart from work, do you have something else to do with this man? I mean, after 12 years, he does this to you? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know what I've done to this man. No. How am I supposed to take responsibility for something I know nothing about? When you from day one, I warned you about this. I warned you about this. Do you remember? Or do you need me to remind you? I told you, but you didn't listen to me, did you? What? What? What do you mean, what? What is that all about? What's what all, all about? How exactly are you supposed to multiply the profit by three times the normal amount in five months? How do is that? Look, the idea of partnering with another company is not bad at all. Oh my God. It's good. All I need to do is find a good company. Once I have a good company, it's, it's possible. This is like you've been listening to me. I, obviously, this guy really hates you. 12 years you've been working in this company. Why is it making things difficult for you? Why? I know. I'm sad. Right? But did you listen to what he said? If this goes through, if this, if this happens, I am going to have shares in the company. And that's great. All I need to do is to find a good company which I check on and vet them. Look, if I don't do this, all my years of working in this company is going to go down the drain. And I cannot allow that. I need to get this. I need to make sure this happens for me. I hear you, bro. But it's like you're not listening to me. It's an unrealistic goal. It's impossible. It's not doable. It is. Look, it is. Look, I have some companies already. All I would do is to do my check. Checks on them. Make sure that they are right for the partnership. And once this goes through, I'm going to be fine. Everything is gonna be okay. I'm gonna have shit in the company. I'm gonna go back. It's gonna be different for me. I'm just saying you don't need to do all of this. With everything you've done for this company, you don't need to do all this difficult, difficult assignment for you to have shares in the company. You don't. You don't don't do it, bro. I know, but that's not how he wants it. He doesn't see it like that. Let me just do what he wants me to do and get what I want. Obviously, not going to listen to me, are you? No, it's fine. Let me just leave you to do your work. And we can talk about this some more. Hopefully you have better listening ears by then. Bro, you don't have my blessing. You don't. Bro, it's gonna be fine. I know you're worried about me, but it's going to be fine. Is it? What choice do I have? What choice do I have? Damn, 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 damn. It's been two years. I have nothing to show for it. I need to do something. I feel you. Come on in. Do you have some good news? Uh, this is a file for Rhea Holdings. Uh, it's all we need to know about them. I think they're the best candidate to partner with. I didn't get here by making decisions with emotions. I used my head. This company is too small to give us what we want. This is the file for Flow Shares and Hulu. We'll partner with them. I think you can leave now. Okay. I'll go through it. If you want. Seems unbelievable. I mean, if he had someone else to do the job, I didn't make you go through all that hard work to find a company. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. This man is frustrating me. I don't know what else to do. You won't believe that I spent the whole night up, sleepless night, 
trying to work on this file. No. Only for him to select a different company. He didn't even check out this company. That, that's, that's just not cool. I mean, I'm sure there's nothing you've done to offend him because he's feeling personal now. Nothing. You're sure? Nothing. Maybe not directly, someone he knows, someone is close to, anything. Think about it. Joe, come on. Who? Where? Where? How? With the tons of work I have to do in the office here, what time do I have to offend somebody? What time? You do put a lot of work into the company. And you are the first to come in, the last to get out. I mean, you overworked you more than every one of us. And then the first promotion you ever got, it took you six years for something you should have put in four years. Four years. And now this one is supposed to get in ten years. It's saying you should work for it for twelve years. Twelve. Oh, man, that's tough. That's, I, that's not fair. I have done nothing to this man. It's just a devil at work there, so I've done nothing to him. Yeah. Anyways, have you, have you heard of uh, floor shares and holdings? No, but. I could check it out if you want. Bro, well, please check it out for me. I'm so, so tired. I'm exhausted. Bro, you need to take time to rest. You know, what is wealth? Bro, well, how am I going to rest? All the work I have to do, all the things I have to achieve. I understand. I'm putting in my very best, bro. I understand, but you need to rest. If not, nothing's going to happen. So, after all I found out, after everything I found out, you still want to go ahead with the partnership? These are just speculations. If it was true, why is the business still running? Even if they are speculations, even if they are just rumors, there must be some truth in there. We cannot risk the reputation of our company by doing business with such a company. Do you want us to work with the fish business that you suggested? Look, in business, we use our heads and not decisions based on speculations, but what we get in return. Exactly. With the current state of that company? No, 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 no. No legal company will offer you the amount of shares they are offering you at the price they are offering them. They are four times below the market price. That means they are going to be operating at a loss. And that's not possible. why I was stressing myself to get this done, to find out everything I found out. You had already authorized payments to the company. Why did you even bother to give me this, to show me this? Mr. Efri, the project is under your name and I need you to take it from there and get it executed. I need results. Or you want to stop what you started? Oh, you don't need the company's shares again? You can leave my office. Do you not get it? Do you remember? I warned you. You didn't listen. You just didn't listen. I mean, I get it. That man is wicked. And selfish. Very selfish. He thinks about no one else but himself. To think that I invested all my money, everything I had in that business, every single thing. I'm supposed to be grateful that I, I, I'm not going to jail. I'm supposed to be happy that, that I'm not going to jail. And then his so-called big company has now disappeared with people's money. It's gone. Gone, just like that. It's just gone. It's just gone. The way it's going, obviously we're going to lose our job. I really think you need to tell your wife about everything that's going on. Man, I just want to strangle him. That's all I need. I want to strangle him. I get it. I, I'm tempted to as well, but it's not worth it. It's not. So just, just tell your wife everything that's going on. Let's make peace with it. Honey, why were you so in such in a haste to leave church today? 
tired. I need to come home and rest. I have a busy day tomorrow, and besides, so everything's over already. Yeah, but I wanted us to greet Papa and Mama. Baby, we'll do that next week Sunday. All right? Yeah, but babe, I wanted us to talk to Pastor Sam about, you know, our current situation with the job, so he can say a special prayer for you. Honey, please, can we just keep this one on the low for now, please? On the low? What do you mean? Honey, we've prayed about it already as a family. I don't think we need any special prayer from Pastor Sam. Really? Yes. If I can't believe you say something like that. What do you mean? We need all the special prayers we can get. Honey, you don't understand. I, I, I believe that. I don't like the fact that you tell him everything that happens in our home. You know, he's our pastor. We don't have to burden him with our problems. Is he complaining? Of what good is a pastor if he cannot support and pray for his members? Honey, you're not getting it. You, uh, you, you're telling him way too much. Way too much. Every single thing that happens in this room, he knows about it. I don't want him thinking that my wife is always running to him and I'm incapable of taking care of my home. I don't want that. I mean, we've prayed already. You said it yourself. Things will be fine. We don't need pastor's validation or something. Wow. So this is about pride. You're too proud to share your problem with a man of God, David. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, really? Are you trying to say I don't understand English? Because if I heard you correctly, you said you don't want Pastor Sam to think that you're not man enough to handle your problems. That's what I said. But I don't mean it the way you're taking it now. How am I taking it? No. Look, Pastor Sam is our pastor. And of such, we can share our problems with him. You know what? Do whatever you want. Tell him whatever you want to tell him, okay? I don't want us arguing right now. Wake up, honey. Mm -hmm. Honey, wake up. Mm -hmm. Wake up. What? Today is fasting and prayer. We need to go and start. What? Honey, didn't you hear Pastor Sam announce it in church? Honey. It's today. Get up. Honey, please. I'm tired. I, I told you I have a busy day tomorrow. I just need to get all the rest I can get. Honey, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything will be added unto you. Please, get up. Let's go and pray. Please, for peace to reign, honey. Let's go. Honey, now, honey, uh, honey can't we just start tomorrow? Honey, now. We need to do it now. Get uh, up. Man. Okay, five more minutes. Come on, get up. Uh, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Oh, man. Let me stand up. Get up. I can't believe you invited me over to ask for money. You would have said that over the phone. Oh, please don't take it the wrong way. You know, I missed you. I wanted to see you again. Mm -hmm. I see you call. I've been calling you now. <laughs> it's just I haven't seen you. But I know that now that I've mentioned money, mm -hmm. you think I only called you because yeah. of money. But trust me, I missed you. I really 
I don't want to help you, my really? friend. But you know, the money I have saved up is for that my new investment plan. I can't afford to touch, touch it. See, I understand. But you know, you told me that investment plan is supposed to commence next year, mm. right? Mm, true. See, I will pay you back before next year. I just, I need to pay Sarah's coffee. Look around. My goods are finished. I need to restock. Everything is just... Please, if this wasn't serious, I wouldn't even bother you like this. What about your husband? He doesn't have much right now. He's been having issues at work for months. I'm really sorry to hear that. <sighs> How much exactly do you need? Oh, anything. Anything you give me right now, I'm ready to manage. Anything at all. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look, I didn't even know who to turn to at this point. Thank you. It's all right. Uh, but you guys really need to put yourself together. If this is getting out of hand, trust me, my husband and I are working tirelessly to fix this. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, my oh, friend, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Amen. Thank oh, you. That was going on. Something, I bet. What can I offer you? God, <laughs> you don't know what you're doing for me. Honey, I told you it's nothing serious. I just had a terrible day at work, that's all. Having a terrible day is not nothing. So there haven't been any progress? Nothing. Nothing. And the manager, he's... I don't know, he... Like, he behaves like... It's all my fault. He keeps scolding me. He's just getting on my last nerve. It's okay, my love. Please, just calm down. I think he's just being angry and frustrated. I don't, I just, I don't understand. So why he's trying to make my life so miserable? Mm -hmm. I, I, like, he's the only one who's frustrated. I also invested money, all my money, in that deal. So crazy. It's well, honey. Everything will be fine. We just have to keep praying and trusting God. Yeah. I hope so. By the way, um, how is your business coming? <sighs> what? I mean, the shop keeps getting empty by the day. My goods are finishing. And there's no money to restock. Agnes came visiting this afternoon. And I pleaded with her to borrow me some money to at least restock. What did she say? Well, she said she was going to come up with something. I don't know. I promised her that I was going to pay back as soon as possible. <sighs> My goodness. This is not so good. Honey, everything will be fine. Huh? I don't want you worrying yourself so much. Everything will be fine. Amen. God will help us. Come here. Don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? Everything will get much better. Just a terrible time, it was a testing time. But we will overcome. Alright? Hey, honey. Yeah. What are you doing back home at this time? Is everything okay? No. We got a call from the CEO of the company. 
asking us to shut down the campaign until Wednesday. Wow, really? Is it that serious? Very serious. I thought it was a joke at first, but it doesn't look good for the company. It doesn't look good at all. I'm worried. It's okay. Don't stress it. Okay? Cheer up. I hope so, babe. I hope so. I'm worried. I'm very worried. I'm hopeful things are going to be fine. Please. You're home now. Just relax, rest, eat something. Where are you going to? I'm going to the shop. I was just about stepping out before you came in. You want me to drop you? Oh, no, I'm fine. It's okay. I'll use the car. Yeah, the car is low on petrol. Just, just add some petrol, okay? Okay. Come here. Chill, chill. Mm. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, Please. try to. Yeah. Try to be okay. I'll be back, sir. All right, babe. Take care of yourself. Bye. 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 Don't stress too much about it, okay? I'll right, try not to. I can't believe this is happening. All of our hard work for nothing. Even though I saw it coming, I mean, I, I saw it coming. Yet I'm still, um, I'm, I'm shocked. And I'm sad. I'm sad, bro. Mr. Ramsey said we could get a call back, right? Which call back? Do you know what's even happening, bro? The company is in debt. Like serious debt. When is the company going to pay all oh, its debt before uh, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will call us back? And they have to do that before they reopen. The company is going to be closed down. So which callback is he talking about? Damn, you're right. Can we go back to our father's village now? Bro, come on. This is serious now. It's no joke. Well, who said I'm joking? I'd rather go back and become a farmer than that also on this street for a new job. Well, you're right. If you look at it, I mean, farming right now is much better than going on the streets looking for a new job in this city the way it's so difficult to get a new job man what are we going to do what are we i don't know i don't know i don't know i have no idea man i don't know i don't know my wife is going to take it but i will just go home and talk to her about it she always has new ideas maybe she will she will suggest something to me but right now i'm just devastated everybody is i guess I guess you're right. You're right, bro. <sighs> bro. Bro, let's just keep in touch, okay? Larry, uh, thanks for the ride. No, not a problem, man. Take care of yourself, bro. You too. You too. What? 
Sell our car? Yes, honey. Sell our car because we need the money. Wait, wait, wait. You lost your job. And the first thing that comes to your mind is selling our car. Honey, I have a plan. We can sell the car and we invest the money in your business. My business? Yeah. And we both run the business together. No, that, that, that's not happening. What do you mean? How much do I even make from my provision business that you, you now want both of us to run it? As how? What do you think? How do you think we can make a living from my small provision business? Honey, that's why I'm suggesting we invest in the business. I know it's a bit small now, but if we invest in it, things are going to change. Nah, not happening. <clears throat> I disagree. Think of something else. Honey, I can't think of anything else. Honey, come. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Honey, I know the store is small for both of us. That's why I'm suggesting that we sell our car and invest in the business, expand the business, expand the store. And then like that, it's gonna be more profitable. It's not working. It's not a good idea. Think of something else. I, mean, I can't think of anything else right now. Then get a job. Yes, go get a new job. Honey, you know how difficult it is to get a, a, a well-paying job at this time in the country? It's not so easy to come back. Honey, come on. Are you serious? Honey, why are you being stubborn? This is something that can help us, help our family. Look, I'm not being difficult. This idea doesn't work. I, I just want you to man up and do the right thing. Do you want people to mock us? Listen, this is not a good idea. Think of something else and do the right thing. Good night. going on nothing seems to be working out anymore for my husband and I who do I turn to where do I go from here Hey, honey. Hi. How are you? You're back. Welcome. I'm okay. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Mm. Honey, mm. getting a job in Lagos is not easy at all. I'm telling you, it's no child's play. Getting a job in Lagos? Hey. <laughs> okay, so how did it go? Any luck? Not at all. You won't even believe that. A company refused to hire me because they are blaming me for the downfall of my former company. Mm. Me and uh, a few other people. So they refused to hire me despite my qualifications. I don't... I don't I, 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 like, it's unbelievable. How was I the reason why the company failed? I'm not surprised. Remember your former manager said he was going to pin the blame on you. That's exactly what he has done. And the news is everywhere. Oh. God will judge that man. God will judge him. God will judge him. What has he done to me? Are you going out? No, I was going to. No, no. It's okay. Um, sweetheart, you must be hungry. Should Honey. I go? Mm. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm everything at the same time. 
So let me quickly go in the kitchen and fix the salmon set. Thank you, babe. You look tired, too. What did you do today? No, I'm okay. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll, I'll fix you something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, good. Oh. Oh. What do you mean you don't have the money? Janet, this is not fair. You promised to give me the money by the end of the month. I know. I'm sorry I haven't been able to meet up to our agreement. It was never my intention to owe you for this long. Yes. Believe me. I don't... I, you, you know I need this money. You know I need it. I know and I'm working tirelessly to raise this money. I am. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. You're spoiling my plans. My friend, I'm deeply sorry about the way things are. It's just since my husband lost his job, things have been very difficult for what? my family. What? Oh, I didn't tell you. No, you did not. I'm really sorry. So sorry to hear that. It's okay. Why didn't you tell me? My sister, since my husband lost his job, Everything has been so hard. I have been so overwhelmed with depression and frustration. I don't even know what to do. I'm really sorry to hear that. Why didn't you tell me? How the whole thing has been so depressing. All the responsibilities in the house as it is right now has shifted to me. Even the money you gave me to restock my shop and pay Sarah's coffee. I had to use it to pay all the pressing bills at home. Look around, still empty. Like, I don't even know what to do. Like, I, I, don't, I don't even know what is going on anymore. Don't say that. I'm sure this is just for a while. Everything will turn around for your good. Do... <laughs> so, what is your husband doing now? Has he gotten a new job? <sighs> He's been searching. Nothing yet. It is well. It is well. Have faith. I'm sure everything will just wave away. Okay? Hmm. Yes, my daughter. <sighs> Pastor Sam, that's mm. how we've been living. Mm. My husband is a very stubborn man. I have tried everything I can, but he wouldn't listen. And he wouldn't uh, allow you to come to me for help? No, sir. He said he doesn't want us to keep bothering you with our problems. I don't know, Pastor. His ego has eaten deep into him that... <laughs> I don't know. His... Mm, I understand, my daughter. A man must be a man. Uh, he is a man. He has to act like a man. <laughs> I understand. Pastor, sir. Mm. I need you to help us. There's no one else I can turn to. You know, my daughter, I would want to do anything for you. But I can't possibly do anything now without your husband's consent to look as if I'm meddling in your affairs. So, what am I supposed to do now? Oh. You mean like this? It's all right, my daughter. But you'll have to invite him to meet with me. So we can dialogue and understand how I can come in to help. Hmm? He won't like the idea, Pastor. Hmm. He wouldn't. In fact, he will be so pissed at me if he knows that I came here by myself to talk to you about his problems. Hmm. His attitude is driving me crazy, sir. Oh, dear. Uh, well, just give me some time to pray over this. So, know God's will about all this. Uh, and you shouldn't rest on your oars, too. You need to pray continuously and talk to Him so that uh, 
uh, he could uh, change, okay? Mm -hmm. And okay. also, my daughter, there's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. Uh, I, I, I had a revelation while I was praying last night. Okay. And the Lord told me that he is not your husband. <laughs> David is not my husband. Oh, sir, we've been married for so many years, so how can that be? You know, you could have been married for a long time, for donkey years. Uh, but oh, the will of God is the will of God. But, uh, well, we'll continue to pray. And the Lord revealed to me that you are a spiritually powerful woman. And you also need a spiritually powerful and fortified man like me. Uh, no, we need to know the mind of God. We continue to pray. Hmm? Okay, sir. Can we pray? Lisa, what can I do now? Oh, we'll continue to pray. Okay. Shall we pray? Yes, sir. Jesus mighty name. Amen. I'm not doing much for this thing. Baby, come on. Come here, I miss you. It's been a while. What is this? I said stop. What is what? Is this what is really on your mind right now? What are you supposed to be thinking about how you can secure yourself a good job? What is me getting a new job got to do with me making love to my wife? Everything. Everything, David. Please don't touch me, I want to sleep. It is not nice now. Ah. Babe, come on now. It's been a while. Do you know how long we've been this been since we last made love? David. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. It's not fair. Hello, hello, good afternoon, Pastor. Hello, uh, good afternoon, Janet, how are you? Fine, thank you, Pastor Sam. Um, I'm doing fine, are you? Oh, I'm great, I'm great. Um, please, Pastor, I, I just called to um, remind you of the promise you, you made the other day. So things have gotten really rough at home. My husband is still searching for a job. We still haven't been able to pay Sarah's fees. And um, there's barely any food at home, sir. And I don't even... 
No. I'm so sorry about that, darling. You you should have, uh, you know, reminded me this earlier because I earnestly forgot. You know what? Yes, sir. Try and see me this Saturday so we can discuss properly, and I see where I can come in. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Thank you very much, sir. I really do appreciate you, sir. No, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Now I'll send you the address very soon. Okay. Um, okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Great. Bye for now. Janet, glad you could come. Good day, Pastor Sam. Yes. Why are you uncomfortable? You don't like the place? Um, that's not it, sir. What is it then? Sir, I'm just confused as to why you asked us to meet in a hotel room. Oh, would you rather we met somewhere else? Yes, sir. Your home? Yes, I would have loved for your wife to be part of our meeting and that's if she's back from her trip. Oh, well, I don't want to get let her into this now. Uh, well, you actually ask too many questions. Why don't you sit down? You're just coming in. Yeah, sit. Okay. You know, Janet, I've always liked you, even before you got married. You're so beautiful. How do you mean, sir? Well, don't be there as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, I know that's not why you're here. Uh, but uh, uh, if you... Uh, if you become mine, uh, all your problems will be taken care of, actually. Are you for real, Mr. Samuel? Mm. I'm a married woman and you are my pastor. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter here. Oh, God forbid. Oh, why would God forbid? <laughs> no idea. You're acting as if you don't know these things. There's nothing in this. It's just a uh, part of the process. Mr. Sam, you're asking a married woman to have a secret affair with you. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, uh, it's not uh, anything terrible. God forbid. Janet! 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 Oh, well. This will be a very long journey, actually, and I will enjoy it. <laughs>
dad, why did the principal send me out of school today? Um, uh, honey, um. Dad, if you don't have the money, ask mom. <laughs> honey, I don't think your mother has money also, but I don't want you to worry about this because I'll take care of it, okay? Okay. Hmm? And I'll make sure you go back to school. All right? So just need everything with daddy, and daddy will take care of it. What do you want to eat? Noodles? Noodles. You know you like noodles. Noodles and eggs and what? Sausage. That's it. Come on, let's go. Noodles and sausage, right? Oh, you close. Let me get you something to eat. Hey, baby. How are you? How was, how was the shop today? Wow. Oh, it's mm -hmm. good. It's good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, did you see the landlord on your way in? The landlord? Yeah. He was just here. What did he want? Ah, oh, he came talking about his rent. You know, the usual. And what did you say to him? I told him we'll get back to him. You mean your wife will get back to him? You don't have to say it like that. David, what is going on? I should be asking you what's going on. First it was the rent, then Sarah's school fee. Who is supposed to be taking care of these bills? Honey. I should be asking you what's going on. To my wife. I, I don't insist that you take care of these things. I don't even ask you to. <laughs> you know my situation. You know right now I'm not working and I don't have money. If I had it, you don't even ask me about anything in this house. You know that. Then do something. Then do something, get a job, and live up to your responsibilities in this house. Ah, I've spent my entire savings just helping out with everything. I, who is supposed to take care of these bills? Who? Who is supposed to take care of the bills? No, 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 no. tell me. Who is supposed to take care of these bills? Look, hmm. I am not that guy. What? I am not that guy. I have gone broke spending my savings and it's frustrating right now. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, I'm really, really trying. Really? Yes. I go out there every single time looking for a new job. You know how difficult it is to get a new job in this city? I'm trying my best. I'm doing everything I can. I told you, let's sell our car so that we can invest the money into business. You said no. You don't have the attitude. You are the one behaving strange. Ever since I lost my job, you've been different. Oh, wow. Bravo, David. David, you now raise your voice at me. Hey, let me tell you, you better man up. Find something doing and live up to your responsibility. You hear me? Because if you continue like this, I will just wake up, carry Sarah, and we will leave this house. Nonsense. Who, who do you, who do you, who, who, who is supposed to be the man here? <laughs> Wife, what a wife! If this is considered like this, you pack your things and leave the house for better or for worse. <laughs> for better or for worse, perfect example versus woman holding Bible every day going to church. That's how you talk to your man, that's how you talk to me after everything. Everything I've done, all the sacrifices, everything, that's how you talk to me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, dear, glad you could come back, you know. I told you if you thought about it for a little, 
you see it's a very simple thing and like I said the other time I'll take care of all your needs anytime okay and we had can we forget this uh, pastor a married thing it's just the two of us uh, you know it's not so bad I don't even know what to do anymore. I mean, is this, is this how things are going to remain for us? It's like no company wants to hire us because of our past record. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I've tried. I've tried my best. I've tried everything humanly possible to get a job. We've gone everywhere. I've walked everywhere. I've sent letters everywhere. I've talked to people. It's just not working. I've even thought about selling my car just to start a business but my wife she won't even have it she won't even have it it's like she's just making matters worse what, what do you mean i don't know what's going on with her bro i don't know if she, I, 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 I can see that she's happy i don't have a job but i mean she's she's not sad either i don't know what she thinks she I don't, I don't really know, bro. I don't, I don't know because she's not saying much. It's that kind of, I don't care kind of attitude about my joblessness, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you did something to offend her, make her angry or something. Maybe, but I don't know. I don't know because she's not saying anything, you know? But the way she's going about it, man. Look, she completely changed ever since I lost my job. I mean, things, uh, things have been getting just worse between us i mean I, i'm talking about in every way oh, bro from little things little things respect things that never happened in the past everything has changed man you're not alone there i mean my girl has been acting up too really she doesn't listen to me bro everything i say she gets angry she gets moody and now she's saying she wants to relocate to abuja what? Yeah. I told her I'm not interested. But I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on in that head of ours. Wait. You locate to Abuja without your consent? Yeah. Without I told, seeking your approval? I told her I wasn't interested. And she's still going ahead with the plans. I don't know what's going on in her head, really. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't get women. It's like the moment they notice you can't meet up to their expectation as a man, as a provider, all of a sudden they... Just want to, just, just want to leave you. I, right about that, man. I am You're right. Right about that. I mean, something just changes. The moment you <sighs> stop being the man that you should be, it's just different, bro. From the look, from the attitude, to <laughs> everything is just a little different. It makes you feel like it's it's all about the money or something, <sighs> man. I don't know what the to last do. thing you want to lose as a man is respect. You know, that self-respect and respect from your partner. Because <laughs> that's even worse than having money. <laughs> I swear, if you have a partner who respects you, even when you don't have money, bro, that's like, you think like you're in heaven, but respect is everything for a man. I appreciate the fact that you've been helping me in the house, helping me to take care of things that I should be taking care of. But what I don't understand is how did you pay the rent? How did you restock your shop? Where did you get the money from? Huh? Honey, look, all of that doesn't matter right now. What matters is that things are starting to look good for us again. It matters! It matters to me. You're my wife. I should be doing this. It's, what you, it's, it's a huge sum of money. Okay, fine. If you must know, I loaned some money from Agnes. Oh. Yeah. 
she gave me some money to, you know, restock the shop and all. And things are starting to go well at the shop. So I'm guessing in a few months I should be able to pay her back. <sighs> Honey. Honey, I'm so sorry. Look, now I know the length you can go for this family. I, I shouldn't have raised my voice. I shouldn't have, you know, talked to you like that. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but honey, why didn't you make dinner? Honey, you know I can't cook. I don't know how to cook. I mean, it's kind of like stressful having to go to work, pay these bills and still come home and cook. Just look at what I'm having for dinner. You don't know how to cook. You have to learn. Yeah, I mean, we need to start getting useful around here. Wake up. Mm. Good morning. Honey, wake up. It's morning. Wake up mm. and go make breakfast. What? Oh, if you don't need breakfast, it's fine. After you're not going to walk or anywhere. But I and Sarah have somewhere to be. So stand up and go and make breakfast. Wait. Are you serious? Only hurry now. Hurry, we can't be late. Wake up! Oh. What's wrong with you now? Oh, so you're just here sleeping? You're here sleeping, the house is so dirty! Sarah is there hungry, you couldn't even give her lunch! 
And you're here sleeping. Why are you doing this now? What's wrong with you? Hey, calm down now. Calm down. I, I just got back about an hour ago and I was tired. I, I went out to uh, look for a job, job hunting. I just got back. You went job hunting? Yeah. So you are really going to use that excuse again? I'm not using an excuse. I'm saying the truth. Are you just... David, I'm that? tired! I am tired! I'm tired of you just sitting around and doing nothing. I understand you don't have a job, but you, you, what happens to being useful around here? I've had a really long, stressful day at work only to come home to a dirty house. Come on now. Come on now. Get, make yourself useful now. Please, if you don't want Wahala this evening, if you don't want my trouble this evening, get a broom and start tidying up. What are you talking about? Looking all dressed. Um, going for a job interview. A job interview. Mm -hmm. Where are your documents? I sent them already. <laughs> David, is this your way of avoiding house chores around here? I mean, what employee goes to the office on a Saturday? Is that the kind of employer you're looking to have? No wonder you haven't gotten the job. A manager for a particular company called me and asked me to come to their office on Saturday, today. So that's why I'm going. Listen, you can go for whatever job interview you want to go for. But you can't leave until you're done with the house chores for today. There's a big pile of laundry waiting for you in the kitchen. Look at the floor. The floor is not going to sweep itself. So please, eh, if you don't want my trouble, Finish up your laundry before you leave this house. And... I'll do whatever chores I have to do when I get back. Excuse me? David, you're not hearing me. You're not listening to me. You can't leave this house if you haven't done all your chores for today. I don't want to fight. Before they will say, ah, I'm a bad woman. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. Please, the floor won't sweep itself. Do the needful. And then again, you're supposed to take me to the shop because I can't drive. I'm, I'm tired. You're in the way. David, you're blocking my view. This show up. Oh wow, it's a new one. Uh -huh. Episode Episode two should have been out already. I don't know how long you want to stand there staring. Okay. Your job interview is not important to you. Tea. Um, I'm okay. What? 
darling? Yeah, I'm okay. I don't want it. What have I done to deserve this treatment from you? Honey, what have I done to deserve this treatment from you? What are you talking about? Huh? Look, if you're in the mood to argue, huh? I am not in the mood at all. I don't have the energy for that, okay? So please don't start. I'm not trying to argue. Whatever it is that has made you mad, whatever it is that has made you to behave the way you've been behaving toward me, I'm sorry. I just don't like us being like this. It's been, it's been so different the past uh, couple of weeks. What and bills do you want me to pay? Honey. Really? Why, you, you're thinking I'm apologizing to you because I want, I want money from you? That's what do you want? you know that I have decided to ask Pastor Sam for help get a job really yeah I mean I feel like I've been trying so hard for months now and I'm still not getting anything good so Pastor Sam has contacts I'm sure he could talk to a few people and they could get me set up somewhere Look, honey, I just didn't want to bother the man with my problems, that's all. In other words, you didn't want to look less of a man. Well, I, you can think that way, but for me, I think it's important that a man tries to solve his own problems, face his own problems, man up to, to, to his problems. Man and ego. So you think asking Pastor Sam for help will make you look less of a man. Huh? Look, this is the thing. Oftentimes you end up regretting asking for help. When you ask people for help, and when you ask a man for help, you become indebted to that man. And when you are indebted to that man, you could be controlled to doing what you don't want to do. So asking for help is not that simple. Even when it's a man like Pastor Sam? Are you listening to yourself? And you're supposed to be a Christian. Oh, come on. Being a Christian doesn't stop you from watching out for yourself. It's common sense. <sighs> you know what? I don't want us to argue. Can we please just focus on going to talk to Pastor Sam so that he can help me get something, get a job, talk to his contacts. It's gonna be good for our family. It's gonna be good for us. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What? What? Company. I was 
was able to find a way to squeeze you in as one what? of his staff. Really? That's great news, sir. Oh, yes, it is. I already told him about the problem you had with your previous job, so you really don't have to worry about that. Just go there on Wednesday with your credentials, and they'll attend to you. Sir, sir, thank you so much. I don't know how to thank you for this great favor you've done me. Thank you so much, sir. David, it's all right, it's all right. And I told you God had taken control. And may he continue to bless you. May he continue to increase you. May he continue to lift you up. Thank you so much, sir. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, go get ready for Wednesday. It's going to be a big day. Oh, sir, thank you. Goodbye, sir. God bless you, sir. Wow, is this your shop? <gasps> My sister. Look at how everywhere is full. I mean, tell me. My friend, what did you do? My dear, there's nothing to tell. Let's just say the Lord has decided to answer. My family and I. The Lord said to me, it is your time to shine. I can see that. God is really wonderful. Hmm. You're doing well, my dear friend. Thank you. Thank you. Like... Shocked. Everything is working together for our good. Right? Could you believe that even my husband got a new job? Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, my dear friend. I mean, this is what I always tell people. That no condition is permanent. And God's time is always the best. The best. I mean, I was so shocked. When you when you called me mm. to tell me you had sent the money, <laughs> I couldn't believe it because it came earlier than I thought. See God, oh, see God. <laughs> this hey. is permanent, my friend. Amen. I'm so sure everywhere. Lord. Like you're doing Amen. well. Give me a high five, Jerry. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Everywhere fully stocked. <laughs> like and I business mean. is booming. Wow. Where did you go? What did you go to do? Um, I was talking to uh, Pastor Sam. We're having a midnight prayer. Midnight prayer? Why did you call me to join your people? Oh, honey, I didn't want to bother you. What? Yes, you know, you have a long day ahead of you tomorrow. What is bothering me about praying? I don't want Pastor thinking that I'm lazy. I don't want to push spiritually. Oh no, no, it's it's fine. He understands. No, I, it's not nice, baby. And it's nice, sir. Call me to join you in a prayer. I mean, okay, for my husband. Right. We should pray together. Yeah, I'll call you next time. I'm, I'm sorry. Please. I didn't even. <sighs> You know, I told you I was praying, right? I've been praying all night and you'll have a busy day tomorrow. Baby, come on, I'm your husband. It doesn't matter. 
We're married. God doesn't take offense if we have sex. I, I know, I know, I know. You need to save your energy for tomorrow's day. I don't need to save my energy. I just need you now. Babe, honey, not tonight. Okay? Not tonight, please. Please, I'm tired. At you, bro. It's like this new job is really treating you well. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Thank you, bro. I really am happy. It's been great. I love my new job. <laughs> it's been having a great time there. Also benefits, yeah. No, they're, they're just nice people. That's all. Or they're trying to be nice to me. I don't know. Do you think your company is looking for an extra guy? You know. Ah, right now I don't think so, bro. You know, it was because ah. of Pastor Sam that they had to squeeze me in. You know, it's they're, they're already running tight, but because of his influence, you know, they had to just give me something. But I assure you, I'm going to have my eyes open. I'm going to have my ears open. Whatever comes up, I'm, I'm going to chip you in. I assure you, bro. Wow. I'd really appreciate that, bro. You know how things are. It's, it's really tight. I know, bro. So, um, <clears throat> how's your girl? <sighs> I guess she's all right. Um, she decided to stay in Lagos, but oh. apparently I have to make it up to her. Oh, she has? Yeah, but, but there's a catch. <laughs> I have to open a business for her. And I don't even have enough cash for that. In fact, that's, that's one of the things I wanted to discuss with you. Okay. Um, I know I'll be asking for too much considering you just got this new job. Um, I need you to loan me some cash. I don't have enough money to start up this business for her. And I was wondering if you could, uh, you know, boost me. Ah, oh, bro, 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 man. I would, I would have really loved to, to help you out, but it's, it's been really tight for me, bro. Yeah, I understand. You know, I just started this work. I, uh, there was just so many debts, so many things, bills, stuff to settle. When Pastor Sam has been the one helping my house, man. So yeah. since I got the job, everything has fallen back on my shoulders. So I just. I just need to settle a few things, my brother. Please, man. All right. I wish nah, I could. It's fine. I understand it. No, but I will. I will. If you give me like two months, two months, three months, at least I will be able to help. I would really appreciate that, man. I will, bro. Ah, you, my brother. <laughs> Come on. Yes, I'll try and figure it out for now. How about your wife, though? She's, she's okay. I mean, she's at the shop. She's okay. She's not giving you all those nasty attitude anymore. And she's going back to her old self. <laughs> You'll be surprised. I mean, ever since I started working again, things things have changed. I mean, she's she's been that person I used to know. Bro, I just don't know. All I can say is fear women. I appreciate to the choir, my brother. Bro, uh, when it comes to money and women, five and six, bro. Yeah, Five fear, and six. Fear women, fear women, fear women. Oh, man. Fear women. Oh, but I'm still happy for you, man. Thank you, bro. I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah, man. I know my redeemer leave it. I know my redeemer leave it. I know my redeemer leave it. He leave it forevermore. Baby. Hey. Where are you going, baby? Church. We have all night prayers tonight. All night prayers and you didn't tell me anything about it? Sorry I didn't mention it earlier. It's just you and Sarah have an early day tomorrow. So I was thinking, you know, you guys need to take the night to rest. Baby, me, I've been sleeping all evening. That's how I even have the energy to attend. Baby, come on. We're a family. We are a family. We still, we still could have gone. Pray for a few hours and then come back home. Right, it's okay. I'll so, cover up for us. But you're driving or you want me to go and drop you? Oh no, I'll drive. I'm not a baby. 
Don't worry, I'll handle it. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. My friends are waiting for me. I still need to pick them up before heading to church. Some friends are invited to church. Okay. All right. Stay safe. Okay. Pray for us. All right, I will. Thank you, darling. All right. Good night. You're from the store. I'm going to a women's conference. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs> Seeing you again. Okay, darling. Bye. Say, say bye bye. <laughs> uh, that reminds me, I haven't seen your wife for a while now. Is she okay? No, she, she's okay. She was just at the, the women's conference on Saturday. No, she was not. I was there. I didn't see her. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. She hasn't been coming to all night and Women fellowship for months now. I've been planning on paying high visit to make sure everything is okay with her. Wow. 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 Wait. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, everything's fine. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for the ride. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Thank you. Bye, Boo. Where are you coming from? From my shop. Stop lying to me. I was at your shop and your sales girl told me you haven't been at the shop since late morning. So where are you coming from? Oh, sorry. I just remembered I actually went to buy some goods. Stop lying! Buy more goods! All the nights you left this house and told me that you were going for all nights, for women conferences and everything else, where did you go? Honey, where, what are you, what are you aiming at? Oh, just stop it! Tell me the truth, where did you go? Church, of course! What church? What else would I what do? Church? What church? I mean, the, you're lying with church? Are you lying with church? Where is all hey, 
I know for sure you never went to the church. So don't you dare look me in the eye and lie to me. You've never been at church for any fellowship, any women conference, or anything like that. The only time you went to church was on Sunday. Where were you? Where else would I be? Who's calling you? It's Pastor Sam. Oh, Pastor Sam. Yeah, that's the man. So what is going on between you and Pastor Sam? What? I know the truth. What is going on between you and Pastor Sam? What? What are you talking about? Tell me the truth! What is going on? Nothing! What could possibly be going on? You are sleeping with Pastor Sam. You two are having an affair. Why? Why? You are insane. Why would you ask me such a question? Because you are lying to me! I know the truth! You were drunk. Do you think I'm stupid? You've been lying about every single thing. You leave the house in the night, say you are going to fellowship, you go out to do God knows what. What is going on between you and Pastor Sam? Don't, 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 don't even try me. I will disgrace you. Don't try it. Why would you? I, I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. You have to believe me. What, what, what would I be doing with Pastor? You are shameless. You are so shameless. Why would you do this to me? After everything we've been through, after all I've done to make us work, to make this family work, after everything you do this to me with a pastor, with a pastor. You don't know. Do you know what, what, what curse is that? You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, what is it? Pastor! What is it? What is this I'm hearing everywhere? What are you hearing? I saw David now. What about him? Said you have been sleeping with his wife. Oh. This is a brand new Holy Spirit filled G.O. Pastor. Damn. How can I be sleeping with his wife? That's blackmail. You are a disappointment. You told me you have changed. I have changed, my dear. Listen, so many years ago, I have changed. I'm <laughs> brand new now. That David is blackmailing your husband. And you want me to believe that? Well, why not? If he blackmails me and gets away with it, we are going down together. You're my wife. I need do no such thing. I'm not here for that. So what evidences does he have? He made a video about you having an affair with his wife and he's trending everywhere on social media. Video? Trending? You are asking me? You are a disappointment. When did he make the video? How did he make the video? Ah! I will deal with him. He won't see it coming. He doesn't know who he's dealing with.
Sam, please, please, I'm begging you. Release David. Please let him go. No, I won't. He spoiled my reputation. I am here pleading for him. He will remain there. Sam, please help me. My daughter is already starting to ask questions. She misses her father. It's been two days already and I don't know how else to explain to her. Sam, please. Look, he has to face the consequences of his actions. Okay? Oh, God. Sam, we're already in this. Everyone is already talking. If you keep David in prison, it will solve anything. It would only make matters worse. Listen, listen to me, okay? If you release him, then we can even convince him to make a statement disclaiming everything that he said. Yes, he can tell people that he didn't mean what he said and that way, problem solved. <coughs> Sam? Sam. in this situation but the God that I serve the God that I serve will judge you he will judge you and I'm sorry I will not take back anything I said about you because it is the truth so go and kill yourself if you like Sam have you been holding up? I know things are really difficult right now. Honestly, I'm so sorry I'm going through all of this. But have you, have you been coping? Coping? I've not been coping. I mean, honest, I've not been coping. I've been anxious, exhausted, confused. Because I don't know what the hell is going on with my life. Everything is so crazy. It's like I'm cursed of somebody. You're not cursed. No, no, no. Why should everything be happening like this? I'm, it's like I'm cursed. I understand, but you're not cursed. Babe, listen to me. You're not. It's just that everything's not making sense right now. Nothing is. Dave, I've been. And I don't want you to jump on me, but. I've, I really have been thinking about this. I, I think it's time for you to make peace with Pastor Sam. I, just take back some of what you said. Remember I said, don't jump on me. What did you say? What did you just say? I'm just saying, you don't have to be going through all of this difficult situation. You can make things easier for yourself. See, he's a man of God, right? I'm sure if you beg for his forgiveness, you forgive him and, and are you serious? It. Like, are you are you serious? No, no, no. You're asking me to do what? Take back my words. My words of truth. I should go and beg a man who is sleeping with my wife. 
in the disguise of trying to help us. I should go and beg him. You want me to, to, to lie on myself? See what you're saying? Yes, no. do, 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 are, you, are you serious? But what, 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 what's happening to you right now? It's like, are you crazy? If I be listening, I mean, it's me. I know I always have your back. I would just be saying this. I have your own back. Who back are you having? I'm just saying, we don't have any proof, do we? We don't have any proof. For we know this accession is false. What? Guys, you're crazy. You're like, what, what, what's wrong with you? Joke, joke, joke. Leave my house. Leave my house. No, leave my house. <laughs> are you joking? Joking? Do I look like I'm joking? I thought you were my friend. I, I thought... I, 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 no, 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 don't, don't, don't. Listen to me. I thought you were my friend. I thought we were friends. But what you are telling me right now, giving me the wrong advice, you are not my friend. I am your friend. Then I want you to make this my decision. Make my decision for yourself. Leave my house, Joe. Guy, leave my house. Go. Ask. What is it now? If it makes you happy. Yeah, it makes you happy. Get, 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 get outside. Get out. Enjoy your life, bro. Enjoy it. What's wrong with this guy? You go and apologize to who? A man who, who, who's, who's causing me so much pain. Idiot, I should leave now. Go and apologize to him for what I'm Take back my words. Like what I'm saying, I'm lying or I'm stupid. Guy, go and collect your photo. Collect your photo. Janet. Janet, we need to talk. I don't want to talk. As you can see, I'm reading my Bible. Janet, I want the truth so that we can be able to fix things as a family. I need to know the truth. I have told you the truth, but you don't want to believe the truth. What am I supposed to do? Huh? I want to believe you, Janet. I want to believe you, but I need the truth. I'm not just going to sweep everything I know, everything I've seen under the carpet, just like that. No! Look, I don't know what is going on in that head of yours, okay? But listen to me. The only reason I haven't left or filed for a divorce is because of our daughter. And the fact that I don't want to give you the impression that you were right. Pastor Sam and I are innocent. The only crime that man committed was helping you. Was helping you, David. So the only way you and I can have a proper conversation is if you go and undo what you did. God bless you, David. So, sir, I tried my pastor. Pastor, I tried my best to convince him. I tried, but he wouldn't listen. He even, he even kicked me out of his house. But you said he's your best friend. He, he is my best friend. But, but he's also a man. He has to make up his own mind. <sighs> In other words, you didn't succeed. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I said everything I could, but it wouldn't change his mind. So, what are you here for? What? You went to do a job. You couldn't succeed. You failed. So what are you doing here? We had an agreement, right? I was promised money, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, that's your name? Yes, Pastor. Have you ever seen someone that didn't work 
but is paid for not doing anything. Have you seen that happen? So, how am I supposed to pay you? I don't have a penny for you. Pastor, <laughs> I did this for the money. No, 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 sir. I sacrificed my friendship. For what? For nothing? Joe, leave my house. <laughs> no. Now. This can't be the end. Past Just clean your buttocks while you're leaving. Don't dirty my chairs. That's not, I'm the... Oh, clean your buttons. Oh, God. Stupid. Stupid. It didn't work. You wanted to earn? This is senseless. Can't do a simple job. A simple job of knocking out someone just can't do it. Hotel? Sam, you want me to meet you in a hotel in the middle of a crisis? We are in the middle of a crisis and that's what you're thinking about. Oh, Janet, Janet. It's been three weeks now. The whole thing is blogging over. Yeah, don't worry your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss you, baby, I did. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Just stop it. How can you possibly be missing me in the middle of a war? Oh, Janet, listen, listen, David has no proof, nothing. Let's move on with our lives, okay, baby? Mm -hmm. Sam, you've been defamed. If anything, we should be trying to convince David to make him take it all back. Okay, now listen to me, Janet. Meet me at the hotel tomorrow morning. Let's talk about it in a convivial atmosphere. <laughs> Janet. I am not meeting you in any hotel. You hear me? Can you imagine what people will say if we get caught? Oh, Janet, Janet. Janet, I need you. I miss you. I need you so much. Listen, baby. I have fallen in love with you, baby. Come on. You're joking, right? I'm not kidding. It's okay. If it makes you happy let's meet in the morning ah the hotel and we discuss it don't worry your beautiful head baby let's meet okay all right bye now bye bye After that, we'll, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> An encore! <laughs> Joy, hey, are you hearing what I'm hearing like this? 
Yes, so they are finally causing red handing. How does that work? <laughs> that is not all. Can you believe that? So many women from that church came out and were saying so many bad things about Pastor Sam. How he has been sleeping with them in that church. Eh? I'm telling you. They are finally caught the red handed. Hmm. Do you hmm. know, eh? The most unbelievable thing is that a 13 year old girl, a small girl, came out and spoke up about how Pastor Sam raped her, raped? molested her a few months back. And you don't mean it. I'm telling you. And the mother of that girl, she has been seeking for justice here and there. So many people are pushing to see how they will arrest him and jail him. Sophia Kwa, this is an abomination. A very big abomination, no. A very big one. That man, eh, he deserves to if they, let them cut his neck off. She is very wicked. Things are happening. A no. small girl. <laughs> now, wow. This hmm. life. Please. David, please forgive me. David, I am deeply sorry. <laughs> David, my husband. My husband, please. Can you just stop? Just stop it. Take your things and leave my house. I've told you already. I'm sorry. David, I know I hurt you. I know I broke your heart. I know I disappointed you. I know I'm not even worthy. Right now to be called your woman. Please. I just need one more chance, please. Can you? You are irritating me. Can you? Can you take your bags and leave my house? Forgive you. Forgive you. I can never forgive you. I will never ever forgive you. You lied to me. You mistreated me. You malhandled me. You 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 made me to look like a fool, an idiot in the eyes of people. You made me to look like a madman. And you stand here asking for forgiveness from who? Who? Leave my house. I'm not going to wish what happened to Sam on you, but you will reap what you sow. And you will reap what you sowed, I promise you. David, what about our daughter? She's too young to grow without her mother. Please, even if you wouldn't let me stay here, just let me go with you. My daughter, grow up with you? A mother like you? My daughter would never Never grow up with a mother like you. Never. You will be lucky to see her. David, <laughs> David, Let's please. Leave my house. Leave my David. House. Hmm? David, Go and display your beauty now. You're a very fine woman. Go and display. There are more Pastor Sam's out there. You'll find more. Stop. Let's go. Leave my house now. Stop David. now. Leave my house. Let's. I don't want you. Can you just. Please now. Leave my house now. Please. Please. Let's leave my house. Thank you. Thank you. David. 